Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. Let's walk through how to make the perfect portable Kaden Live video editing studio. This video is sponsored by Sans Show SD, preferred media for creative production. For details, please visit the link in the description below. First off, getting portable versions of Kaden Live is easy. From Kaden Live, you can download either the Windows standalone installer or for Linux, grab the app image. Next, you need to bring in the portable media to store Kaden Live. This is what makes it actually portable. <laughs> for this concept, you could use either a USB key, an external drive, or a memory card, uh, like the one we're using today from Sancho SD. It transfers up to 250 megabytes per second. Now, you may be asking by now, why would I consider using a memory card when USB keys are cheaper? Well, a distinct advantage to using a memory card is that you can actually collect all of your pictures and vi video and all the media you're going to use directly from your preferred camera and store the portable loaders from Kaden Live as well as any project files and final renderings right on the same memory card. It's a huge shortcut for workflow and for transferring and working on things and it just speeds up the whole process. So let's look at how to set this up. As a quick note, I tested the built-in memory card reader on my laptop and found that the transfer rate wasn't very high. You may run into the same thing if you have an internal drive on your laptop or computer. Uh, that seemed to get in the way of copying and running Kaden Live from the card, and that I was able to rectify by just using a separate USB card reader, which supports <laughs> the full breadth of the transfer rate. Sancho SD offers some very good ones, but for today, I'm gonna to be using a reader from Bokeh just because that's what I had on hand. Understanding that there is an edge for data transfer on the Sancho SD card, moving the portable version of Kaden Live to the card becomes very simple. For Windows, after extracting the package, you can launch it from the bin directory. For Linux, you can simply launch the app image file. Once launched, the software works just as well as being run from your workstation drive, because literally it just loads it into memory and it's like you're working on your workstation for all practical purposes. Editing, playback, and rendering all function with the same performance that I've come to expect from running it right off my workstation. Using Kaden Live this way, you can easily float back and forth between both Windows and Linux environments. All you have to do is use the Windows version when Windows and the app image when using Linux. Also, this makes it much faster for production. I can borrow the SD card, use it in my camera to record video and images as I need to, then load those into my project when editing without having to transfer them over. It's already there. This keeps all the project files with the project and saves a ton of time. As I mentioned earlier on, this video is sponsored by Sancho SD. They provided the card just for full disclosure. If you're interested for this particular card, there is a link in the description below where you can directly go and check that out. I'd appreciate it if you have a look because it does help support this channel. And also, this is a great product if you're looking to do a setup like this uh, for yourself. And this is a great product if you're looking to improve your workflow and do those things that I mentioned before to make sure you have those safeguards and efficiencies in your day-to-day -day production. So with all that in mind, this concept does work. It can shortcut how you gather up and store your images. It gives you a very flexible editing environment that you can just bring with you wherever you go. You can, you can run it on a machine that's never had Kaden Live before because the whole launcher is self-contained. You can do it just by running it off the memory card. It makes it so much faster when you're going to bring things in because all the project files, all the media lives together and that just makes it so much more efficient, especially if you're on a tight deadline to produce. You don't have to worry and wait for things to copy over. And finally, it offers that backup solution. You don't have to have that worry of something dying out from under you. You can just move to another computer as you need to. Or if you expect to be traveling, this is another great option because you can bring with you all of your files in a simple, very portable, convenient media. So I hope that's helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. Ask a question, leave a comment. I'd love to point you in the right direction and I will see you at the next video. Thank you so much.